We arrived in Tromsø in the afternoon after another 24 hours of sailing and we were ready to pick up reinforcements. We were thrilled to have a larger team eager to explore the Arctic and encounter orcas and humpbacks. As we headed towards our final destination, we knew the adventure had begun. This is what we came for, and we didn't have any time to waste. We kept our eyes peeled, searching for any movement or sign of orcas. Suddenly, we spotted a pod of orcas fairly close to the boat. As fast as we could, we packed the Zodiac and took off. As soon as we entered the water, we swam to where we last saw them. The only sounds I heard were the water around me and orcas. I knew they had to be here somewhere. We missed them. We had to get into the boat again and keep trying. It's all part of the game when it comes to filming orcas. You must be patient, keep trying and hope for the best. Frustration kicks in after countless attempts to enter the water and capture the majestic orcas on film. It's a race against time with only a few precious hours of daylight each day. Cold, hungry and tired, I push myself to the limit, but just when I thought things couldn't get any more challenging, my underwater housing decides to fog up. With limited time and fading daylight, I have no choice but rush back to the sailboat. The clock is ticking and every minute counts. I scramble to fix the fog up housing, knowing that we lost precious moments of filming. The disappointment weighs heavily on my shoulder. But giving up is not an option. It didn't take long before we were back in the Zodiac, cutting through the waves with renewed energy. Searching for orcas to film, we felt the ocean's pulse, with anticipation humming like a current through our veins. Finally, we got it right. A pod of orcas came swimming towards us and suddenly I felt tiny. Orcas in Norway can weigh up to between 6 to 8 tons and grow over 9 meters. Their average lifespan is around 40 to 60 years with some reaching over 80. One young, young orca came straight up and just made a turn and then down, down to the group again. It was traveling quite deep, yeah? Yeah, okay, so it was just checking you out. Yeah. It's an ash group. It was getting too dark to film underwater, so we called it a day. We were cold and could hardly feel our feet, but it was worth it. As we steered towards the ship, we were craving a hot meal and a well-deserved good night's sleep. 
we would certainly dream of orcas. We weren't just here to film orcas, we were also contributing to science. Every day we took water samples that were later sent to Dr. Dimitri Dehane at the Scripps Institute in San Jose, California to map microfibers and microplastics. We also took samples during dives. I couldn't help myself, so once more I performed a private little flag ceremony after taking the samples to celebrate being a fellow explorer and to promote and support science and research in all situations. The goal of this expedition was to film orcas but it turned out to be so much more. We've been through storms, broken propeller shafts, swimming with orcas and humpback whales, being cold to the core, frustrated and angry, and wondering why we do what we're doing. But then we had moments like this, encounters with species that are true ocean ambassadors. Seeing firsthand how life in the ocean works and how it can fail. The expedition team formed a lifelong fellowship. Undoubtedly, it was all worth it. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification and hit that like button. That would mean so much to us. Thank you for watching. If you like this, then watch the next episode and let me know if you think it was all worth it.